See, this is uh, on the way from uh, Balakong going towards KL. And you see where they put the RFID tag. Uh, ni lah kebodohan concessionaires. And I believe that uh, people like apa ni, our transport minister should seriously look into this stupidity. Punya lah bodoh. Okay. Why do you even come up with the idea of my RFID? Untuk apa? You charge people RM35 for the sticker. Ah, uh, You susah-susah uh, at the office. You lekat semua. In order for people to have seamless and uh, uninterrupted punya passage. Uh, it just charge to the touch and go. And in line with the government punya uh, initiative to go online and e-wallet and whatever not. Okay? So, tapi... You dah lah you buat satu atau maksimum dua lorong RFID ha? You nak maintain smart tag Okay tak apalah orang dah beli smart tag fine Tapi punya banyak lagi yang touch and go Punya banyak lagi for cash And yang bodohnya Yang punya lah bodoh yang aku tak boleh understand Is that you put RFID satu lane dengan touch and go So therefore, orang yang naik RFID, ada RFID, they have to wait for people yang depan yang ada pakai touch and go, kena wind down the window, kena touch and then kena go. Then for what orang ambil RFID? Dah lah sekarang ni, you don't even teach people exactly where to lekat. You yourself tak tahu kat mana nak lekat. Ha? I lekat all my RFID behind my plate number and I don't have any problems. I pass through like a breeze. Tak ada masalah. Tetapi... Ada buka lampu, ada buka cermin And sometimes tak boleh baca Kena stone chip, rosak tak boleh baca So even the know-how eh, pun tak ada Because the people handling this are jamoks Itu kejar mereka, itu dia jual Tapi motor users know more about the RFID than they do Itu dah satu sepasal dah Maknanya orang dah buat lawak pun dah eh, Reverse forward, insya Allah detect RFID Reverse Ha, you, you maksud you pergi sangkut You reverse You forward InsyaAllah detect Second time baru detect ha, Because tak lekat betul And you tak ajak orang betul ha, Itu orang dah bad belly dah Now this takes takes it all lah ha. You bubur RFID satu lane dengan tak cenggu Punya ke bodoh And therefore because of that Such a long queue for RFID Untuk apa orang ambil RFID then Kenapa lah bodoh dan bagal bodoh nak mampus the concessionaires are stupid and if kita punya transportation ministry allows this we become a laughing stock in the country kalau aku jadi investor pun aku tengok you know this country is being run by jamoks tahu jamoks tu apa jamok tu orang yang tak ada kelayakan tak pandai sangat orang biasa-biasa and orang yang tak ada wow lah not nothing great So why would they want to come to a country uh, led by jamoks? A leader should be astounding, should be talented. Uh, tapi tak, people who make decisions are uh, orang yang tak ada qualification, tak ada kelayakan. Uh, inilah will will lead to kakistokrasi. Uh, tapi my point is, I show you the gambar, uh, itulah kebodohannya uh, bubur RFID dengan Touch and go Orang yang buat ni Are people who uh, Handle touch and go Dia terima bayaran Through touch and go Dia terima through RFID Dia takkan tak tahu Benda tu uh, Why RFID punya users Must wait for touch and go Punya users Then in that case Masa pakai touch and go je lah Bodoh You nak promote Tapi you tak You tak apa ni Support And you Bagi Whatever you promote tu Less attractive Apa punya Kebodohan And when Are we going to grow out of this when Malaysia nak progress? Malulah Malaysian.